G'day everybody, where's Wally here? One thing that flatties hate more than gravity is the ISS. Yes, let's face it, the ISS is the simplest globe proof out there, quite literally. Anyway, flatties don't even try to check and measure things, we all know that. They do make wild claims, like the ISS is a drone or it's a high altitude balloon. Well, the problem for flatties is, who um, all dismiss the ISS, well, we all know why they dismiss it. The problem is that the speed of the thing and the precision of the th timings um, pretty much shows it can't be anything else but a spaceship. Initially, we were going to try and get some transits of the ISS as it crossed the moon around 5.40 p.m., but that just didn't work out for the observers in the, in the transit zone. So we decided we would go and do some just near passes anyway. Luckily for me, Ruif, Wade's Underworld and Where's Wally, that's me, we were all able to do the same thing on the 13th of July 2019. We all just pointed a camera at the ISS as it passed really close to the moon and Jupiter and we videoed it. And we also dialed 1194 which in Australia gives you the talking clock and you put that on speakerphone, hold it beside your video camera and bingo you've now got an audio timestamp. So and then that, that thing's really accurate so less than one second so that was good. There we go, and my freaking battery ran out on my other camera just before it got here. Well, Ruif, he's in Sydney, he saw it first. Wade's Underworld, he's at Nelson Bay, he saw it next. Where's Wally? Well, that's me. I'm in Brisbane, and then I saw it last. And this is all very much a first go at this for us, so it was a bit rough, and we certainly will admit we can do a lot better, but it's still much better than any flatties I've ever tried to do. Well, Ruif, he said he would have um, pulled back on the zoom a little bit more and tripod mounted it so it wasn't wobbly all over the place. Wade, he would have made sure he had a battery that wasn't flat so it didn't shut down literally two seconds before the close approach. And I would have paint pointed my GoPro actually towards the moon rather than halfway away from it and would have actually got a full and wider view of it. I just did think the field of view was much wider than that. Anyway, I placed it outside and come back and to see what I got. Anyway, I can work from it. I got a, a few pixels in there so I can count those and work out pretty much roughly where it was. So what does all this show? Well, we have three data points in time and space. I won't dox us, us wolf packers, but here is the distances and the times. The distances are calculated using latitudes and longitudes, and I cross-check those with Google Maps distance tool, just, and it will pretty much work out. And the times, well, they're all taken from the three different videos, and I'm taking it as when the uh, ISS crossed a line drawn through the Moon and Jupiter. So that should be a fairly consistent time spot. Okay, Ruhif was the start point at 1738.36. Wade was the midpoint 19 seconds later at 1738.55. And where's Wally was the final point 110 seconds after Ruhif at 1740.26. Well, using the distances and times, we were able to calculate the speeds, and we were certainly very close to it for Ruhef and Wade, who were both very close to the transit line. Mine was a little bit off because I was quite away from the transit line, and that seems to have dropped my calculated speed a little bit, though. Although, I'm still right in the ballpark. So, Flatties, the two big findings are, one, the ISS is always on time. No plane has the same sort of sub-second accuracy and predictability that the ISS has. And two, the ISS is fast, very fast. Faster than a, a walk in the park, faster than a jet plane, and it's certainly even faster than the fastest commercial 0.22 Swift bullet, which is 1,400 metres per second. This is like seven or eight times faster than that. And then that bullet can only go for like a kilometre because the air resistance slows it down. So 
ain't nothing like that going on. So basically no plane or anything within the atmosphere can move that fast for that length of time and with that predictability. So if any flatties think we're wrong in saying this shows that there is the, the ISS is indeed fair and real and not fake, you're welcome to go and repeat what, you, what we've done. You only need two people, 100 kilometers apart, two cameras, go on, go and measure it guys. Don't trust your senses.